Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are continuing on with AP Physics 1, some more dynamics questions. So a helicopter holding a 70 kilogram package suspended from a rope 5.0 meters long accelerates upward at a rate of 5.2 meters per second squared. On the diagram below, draw and label all the forces acting on the package. Uh, well, so this kind of, I got a little helicopter pulling up on this thing. Um, the only thing that the hell, the, 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 there's a rope. So what's attached to the actual box is the rope and there's gravity acting on it. Um, MG, which in this case, assuming 10 meters per second squared is 700 newtons. Okay. Which is the, that's just how much it weighs and nothing else. Those are the only two forces on it, the rope and this. Determine the tension in the rope. Well, we know that he's accelerating upward at 5.2 meters per second squared. So the net force on this has to equal m times acceleration. So let's do our net force equation. Net equals t minus 700. Why do I do this? Is because I say upwards is up. He's accelerating upwards. Um, and that equals ma, which is his 70 kilograms times a, which is 5.2 meters per second squared. See, this is f equals ma. Okay. So T would be 700 plus 70 times 5.2. That's 350 plus 0.2 of that is 14. 350 plus 14 is 364. 364 plus 700 is 1,064. That's the tension of the rope. I mean, you can use a calculator for that. I'm just a little lazy. When the upward velocity of the helicopter is 30 meters per second, the rope is cut and the helicopter continues to accelerate upward at 5.2 meters per second squared. Determine the distance between the helicopter and the package two seconds after the rope is cut. Ooh, so now we've switched into a kinematics problem, right? Because now what's happening is this box is free falling. All the only four, because there's no more rope on here. He just has that force on him. And the helicopter continues to accelerate at uh, 5.2 meters per second squared. Uh -huh. So there's a couple of ways you can kind of think of this. You can kind of think of it as like, well, let's call the position zero the moment they cut it, right? So at the moment they cut it, we're position zero. Um, so this is zero meters. This is this is I'm gonna say this is where the the box is. Okay, at zero meters. Because what we know is that the helicopter Oh man, don't make me draw a helicopter. Oh man, what was that? It's got a little tail here. Okay, there's my there's my awesome helicopter. Okay. Um I'm going to be starting a new channel series on um, how to draw, so st stay tuned for that. Okay, so we are above at 5 meters right here, this this helicopter. Why 5 meters? Because they told you the rope is 5 meters long, right? So the helicopter is at 5 meters, and he's accelerating up at 5.2 meters per second squared. And now this guy is going to start moving too. Now the thing is, is... Um, they both have an initial, so this is the acceleration. They both have an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. The moment it's cut, they have uh, 30 meters per second. So let's look at this guy's motion, the block motion. The block motion, his delta y, his change in the vertical distance, is his initial velocity times time plus one half at squared. And we're saying up is positive in this case. So his initial velocity is 30 meters per second times t, one half, uh, minus 10 meters per second squared here because um, he has to be falling downward. Um, he's subjected to gravity, and gravity is pointing down. And since upward is positive, this has to be negative 10. OK, so um, after two seconds, because they want to know what happens after two seconds. So after two seconds, I plug in t equals 2. 
minus 5 meters per second squared times 2 seconds squared. So this is four. So this is um, 60 meters minus uh, 20 meters, right? 4 times 5, 20 meters. So that's 40 meters. So he's going to arc up about 40 meters after 2 seconds because, you know, he's still going, right, upward. So he's this guy's going to move up 40 meters. How about the helicopter? Well, the helicopter is going to have the same equation, right? V naught T plus one half A T squared. The thing is, is the, the his initial velocity is the same, but his acceleration is different. And again, plugging in two seconds. This is 60 meters. This is four, um, four, four times 5.2 is 20.8. 20.8 divided by two is 10.4. I did that right for 20.8, yeah, 10.4. 70.4 meters, okay. So the distance between them um, is, um, well, so he moves up 70.4 meters, but I, I can't remember, I can't forget the fact that they started off five meters apart already. So the difference between them has gained 30.4 meters, right? That's the separation plus the initial five meters. So 30.4 plus five, uh, is 35.4 meters is my answer. Cause I want to do this because he goes up 70 meters, he only goes up 40 meters, but then they started off 5 meters apart, so then they're 35 meters apart. Okay? So that was a mix of some kinematics with the dynamics problem. So I hope you found that helpful, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.